Hello, this is Nexus Crow here, back with a Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a video on how to, um, how to hack or how to, uh, what's it called, edit your inventory so you can get all the minerals and all that kind of stuff that you want for your in-game needs. This is going to be done on a Mac, but the program that I'm using, which is called INV Edit, is a Windows program. So for Windows users, you could probably just go right through the INV Edit program and open it directly from there. But for Mac, it's a bit more complicated. You have to download a second program, and that one's called Mono. So we're going to start this, this off by downloading the two programs that you need. The first program that you need is called INV Edit. I'm going to post the link in the description. More or less what it does is it's a program that allows you to edit your inventory. It's very simple. All you want to do is you want to scroll down the page to where it says download and press click me. Very simple and make sure so I'm just gonna whoa. I'm just going to open this show in a finder. Wait for it. Alright, so I have it here. INV edit. Where is it? Yeah, right here. Now, what you're going to want to do with this folder is drag it onto your desktop. I will explain why later. But it makes everything a lot more easy if you just drag it onto your desktop. So go ahead, drag it onto your desktop. I already have it on my desktop, so it's not really the biggest concern to me. So that's it for that for that program. The next program is called Mono. What you're going to want to do is go to the website, which I'll, I will have in the description. You want to press download on the first box, which is just regular Mono. So download. Then you're going to want to go to your platform. You're going to go on Mac OS X. Then you're going to gonna, yeah, then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says Universal Framework. And from there, you're just going to click Universal Framework, and it's going to download onto your computer. Now, when it finishes downloading, what I want you to do is open it and install it to your hard drive. And that's it. I'm not going to go through all of that because I already have it installed on my hard drive. So just go through that, install it, and then maybe click back on this video, and we will continue from there. So I already have mine installed. So to continue after the installation of Mono, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to open the terminal. Alright, so I have terminal opened and you're going to wait till the text logs in. Alright, now what you're going to want to type in is ls first. First of all is ls and what that does is it brings you a list of your of, of the of the commands that you can punch in. Now see here, on over here we have this command desktop. That's what we want to do because we want to locate this INV edit program. So what you're going to want to set, type in is cd and then desktop with a space in between and press enter. Now that you've entered in that, you're more or less, you have to press ls again and it will give you a new, a new screen of options and this time these options are what's on your desktop so over here we have INV edit so what we're gonna wanna do is type in cd space INV edit now what that's doing is specifying the specific program and it's gonna open the folder for you now because we guess you can press ls again and that's gonna show you these show you your options your options for the for what is in the folder and here at the top here at the top it says inviedit.exe that's the program that we're going to be opening but to open the program we're going to have to use the mono software that we've already installed now to do that we all you have to do is type mono and then space and then you're going to name the program which is inviedit.exe so type in mono space inviedit.exe and press enter and that is going to open up the program for you very easily. It's going to take a little bit of time. And you will eventually come up with the program INV Edit. 
Now this is the program where you're going to be able to edit your inventory and to do that you're going to have to create a new inventory. So you're going to have to press this button in the top left corner that says new. So you're just going to click on it. I'm just going to do this for a small example. I'm only going to import one item into my game. So let's go with something that a lot of people would want to import to their game. Let's go with gold. So let's scroll down. These are all the things that you can bring into your game. And we're going to go with, or no, let's go with diamond. So we're going to put the diamond into the box over here. And this is good. This is what your inventory is going to be when you go into the Minecraft game. Now over here, you can specify the amount that you want of this specific uh, item. So we're just going to keep it at four for now, just for the sake of this uh, tutorial and example. And then what you're going to want to do to actually save it as your game or in your game, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go and locate this thing over here. It says save.dat. And there's an arrow beside it. Don't click the arrow. Click the actual button where it says save.dat and click it. Now, here. Now what it does is it's bringing you into an area where it's going to ask you where do you want to save this data. So to find it, you're going to have to go to press personal on the left and then go into library and after that click application support and then go into find minecraft and click minecraft now now that we're in the minecraft folder you're gonna have to click on saves because that'll save your world saves click on the world that you want to import this inventory into and then click on the level data double click on the level data and it'll save as the level data for that specific world and then when we go open the world in minecraft these minerals or whatever you wanted to import into the game or import into your own account should be there. I'm just going to log in my Minecraft game and I'm going to let it load up. Go to single player. I imported the diamond into world one so I'm going to click on world one. Let the world generate and if I go into my inventory, look at that. I have the four diamond in my inventory. So that's how you import, or that's how you hack your inventory and allow yourself to get whatever you want in your inventory. It's fairly simple, a bit more complicated on Mac users. PC users can just use IMD Edit. They don't have to find a way to open their EXE documents because Windows is compatible with EXE documents. So it's very easy for Windows. For Mac, it's a bit more complicated, but there are ways to get around it. So this is Nexus Cruel signing out. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this video. And have a nice day, guys.